What's going on, my little Sunday night motherfuckers? <laughs> like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. We're gonna talk about Bed Bath and Beyond in a second. I was just talking to my brother, and he was just telling me about when we were kids. This guy in my neighborhood, he had a dog that used to catch seizures, and he used to have to like, like force like a pill down his fucking throat. And the, but the dog was like a big German Shepherd, like, like stupid big. And it was one time where. This fucking dog, it like when it started getting seizures, it was like the the devil. It, it would like take it. Like if if it came close to biting you and holding on during a seizure, you were gonna talk to Jesus that night. So anyway, one day we were in the elevator and the dog was there, and in my brain I was like, that's the dog that catches seizures. But in my brain, it goes me, Benny, Mike. That's my brother was there. BD was there. You know the guy, the old guy, and the dog. And then all of a sudden, my brother reminded me of the fucking dog stuck on. <laughs> so he started having a twitch and the dog looked up at me and I'm thinking to myself like, yo, is this fucking dog having a seizure? All of a sudden the owner's like, everybody help me grab him. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I ain't grabbing that dog. Until he started making that Ow! fucking sound. Let me tell you something. I had that motherfucker by a headlock. I had his ear wrapped up with fingers. Like you don't even understand. I was fucking, let me tell you something. I was petrified of this dog. At a certain point, like he, he turned me into like a little bitch because he started moving around like, holy shit, this motherfucker's strong. And I had to part around his neck, so he kept kind of like trying to come up and bite me as we were trying to get the pill. At a certain point, I started machine gunning that motherfucker in the head. I was like, you motherfucker, you're gonna die now. So anyway, he's like, don't, don't hit him. I gotta give him a pill, man. Fuck the pill. This motherfucker's dying tonight. So anyway, we'll have a, we'll have a uh, laugh about it because that guy still says that like I whacked his dog and I didn't whack his dog. His dog was alive afterwards. He was confused and shit like that. But he never had a seizure after I fucked him up. But it was fucking hilarious because you know like years later like this guy still holds a grudge with me. So he, see, he sees my brother, and, you know, in the neighborhood. He's like, you know, your brother, your brother fucked up. My brother's like, yo, he knocked the fucking seizure out of your dog. You should be happy. That's fucked up my childhood, but anyway, moving on to Bed Bath and Beyond. Um, I've decided, based on looking at what it is and everything around Bed Bath and Beyond, I feel that it's it's at a point where I'm gonna hit it this week. So, what do I mean by hitting it? Well, I cannot turn around and take a position in the stock and tell you to do it. I'm not telling you to do shit, but I can't do that. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be like a commentator and say I'm gonna on a certain day this week, possibly Wednesday or Thursday, not in the morning at nine in the morning. Uh uh, I'm not gonna give the market a chance to whatever. I believe that that thing is vulnerable at a certain time in the early afternoon. Just saying. So I'm gonna announce it when it when I think it's there. So now you know I won't be holding anything in it. So don't think I'm involved or anything like that. My portfolio, the government can see what I said. I don't worry about that. Um, but just let you know, I think it's motherfucker is vulnerable now. 18 cents going into this week with everything that's ready for some hits. So not like the dog and stuff. That motherfucker is crazy. Um, he was looking at me. I was like, I was poaching him in his eye. Like you motherfucker. Anyway, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll let you know. Bed Bath & Beyond, we're gonna do something.